What's up, everybody? This is J.R. The Finest. I'm here today with the man himself, Mr. Pound for Pound. We're talking about the big event, September 14th, Money Mayweather and Saul Canelo Alvarez. That's a big deal. There's a lot of floating questions going on right now online, and one of them has to do with a 30-day weigh-in. We saw that uh, Canelo came in at 166, but Mayweather, he was at 150. What are your thoughts about that? He's got a long way to go, right? Absolutely, but first and foremost, this is your boy, Mr. Pound for Pound himself, and everybody knows where I'm at. I'm definitely in the building, in the atmosphere, in the, his house. And what was your question again, please? The 30-day weigh-in. Canelo came in at 166, and he's supposed to be, you know, at least a little closer than he is now. Mayweather came in right in, right on time, 150. I mean, what are your thoughts as far as this process? Canelo's got a, a ways to go. Correct. Uh, well, how do I feel about the 30-day weigh-in? You know, it's 30 days out. Well, from now, it's only about, I don't know, 14, 15 days out. My math isn't the best. But it was on August 14th, I believe. Fights on, you know, September 14th. Canelo being at 166, you know, I hear a lot of people saying, oh, man, he's too big right now. He's too big. He's got to drop a lot of weight. It's going to kill him. Mayweather's already at weight. I look at it as, you know, a positive if you really think about it because I'm a fighter myself and I have a lot of friends that are fighting. Fighters, we all know that the biggest weight cut comes in the last two weeks and the last week mainly is when you diet you 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 know deplete yourself and you can drop 15 pounds in like a week so i'm not too afraid of canelo being only what i don't know 14 pounds you know above what he's supposed to be at right now because it's 30 you know it was 30 days out at that time and i'm sure right now is when he's probably doing his most crucial weight cut he's probably already in the 150s by now uh, as far as mayweather already being at 150 uh, you know, 30 days out, um, you know, that's a good thing. He's already going to be, you know, at that weight. He doesn't have to cut, doesn't have to drain himself. So he's going to be fast and he's going to be plentiful in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, you know what? There's also, a, you know, an, another concern out there for boxing fans. Canelo, he's a young man. He's 22. He's an up and comer. A lot of people say, you know, we're questioning his whether or not he's overrated. Versus, you know, of course, the magician in the ring, Money Mayweather, he's also um, been criticized for being overrated. So, Mr. Poundford, what do you what do you think about that? Are you more of a Canelo fan versus a Mayweather fan as far as the overation? What do you think about that? Um, I love that word overation. I don't know if it, I don't know if you're meaning to say that, but I'm going to use that now. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of questions about the overrated overation over being overrated. Um you know, Canelo is, you know, is he getting this fight too soon? He's only 23 years old. Is he overrated? Has he really fought anybody? Um, I don't think he's too overrated, actually, for this time period and what's going on in boxing. No, you know, he's fought. He won the titles. He fought who he had to fight. He defended it. You know what I mean? He's done what he's had to do. He, it, his career at no point has been shady. So um, you can't knock him. And he's kind of beaten everyone in, that's in his path. And he sought out really tough challenges, unlike Mayweather. He wanted to fight Paul Williams. He wanted to fight James Kirkland. I mean, he wanted these hard fights um you know unfortunately you know um you know prayers to paul williams you know he had an accident he wasn't able to have that fight that would have been a great fight and then after that canelo would have got a lot more props um but i still think he deserves the status that he's at right now um mayweather most definitely you know uh i wouldn't say he's overrated no he's definitely one of the greats of this time this era i, I would say as far as his status though like as overall he is definitely overrated because people talk about greatest all time and i don't think he's seen the challenges in his career to be greatest all time yeah definitely i agree i'm not a, a big money mayweather fan it seems like he's kind of with all the fame he's kind of slowly lost himself but anyways that's another subject another uh really very popular topic online right now is the the belt the actual the you know the winner of the fight will actually receive a 24 karat gold solid bell what, what's what's going on with that mr Pantana? yeah most definitely beautiful belt uh it's going to be for the winner it's going to be a solid gold belt i think the i think the straps are actually made out of ferrari leather it's going to be um brought to the fight by the wbc and i mean that's a lovely belt i would love to have it you know holding up my pants uh anytime you know what i mean or take it to a pawn shop you know what i mean <laughs> lovely belt definitely can't pawn that but um hey it doesn't really matter to me i just want to see who wins the fight and uh 
you know, at this point, there's so many damn belts. I don't even care about belts anymore. So you know, I think that there's any kind of significant to this particular belt. It being, you know, gold and, and as far as the status of the fighter, what does that mean in terms of WBO, WBC? All right. Now you're making me think. OK, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm just thinking that it's it's just a prestigious belt for a prestigious event. And that's what I just think it is. That's all I think. It's, you know, it's a really they do these for these big fights. You know, they've done it for fights in the past. But this belt is like ridiculous. You know, it is 24 carats or whatever. And it's it's just it's miraculous and it's huge and and i want it so it's whatever (laughs) that's that's a good answer let's go back to the two actual fighters in the ring on that day september 14th who you think can hurt who first do you think it would be mainly uh, money mayweather kind of being more of the defense mainly and kind of dancing around or do you think he'll get caught first what 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 do you think who's going to get hurt first um that's a good question. Who do I think is going to get hurt first? And I've been talking to people and, you know, I've been getting different responses, ironically. It's, just, it's funny that this fight's 50 50 from what I've talked to people. Um, but when I, when in terms of who can hurt who first, I think it would be Canelo. I mean, I'm not being biased or anything. I just think the kid is stronger. He's been, you know, more natural of a junior middleweight. Uh, I mean, he's just more, he's just, he is a junior middleweight. You know what I mean? As far as Floyd is just a blown up welterweight. Um, so I think Canelo will, can hurt him first. If Floyd's going to hurt Canelo, it'll be accumulatively, right? Did I say that right? <laughs> right, right. Okay, right. cool. Aggressively throughout the fight. Correct. Yeah. If Floyd hurts him, it'll be that way. I don't think, you know, Floyd's going to come out, hit him with anything unless he catches him with something he doesn't see and stuns him. But Canelo's just such a tree trunk of a fighter. He's just really strong. You know what I mean? He's he's like a tree. He's solid. So it's, I don't think that's going to happen because I've seen him clocked by other people and him, I've seen him smile and tap his chest like, come on, do it again. I like, hit me again. Come on. It's nothing. He did it with, he did it with Kermit Cintron, who's a power puncher. And even though Kermit Cintron was later in, a little later in his career, he was still known for being a power puncher. He still had fights that were knockout wins. And he hit Canelo with like a one, two, I think, toward the end of the fight. Right. But he landed it and Canelo was like, but that ain't nothing. He slapped, you know, he slapped his chest. Give me more. Right. So I don't think Mayweather's going to ice him or anything like that. If he hurts him, it'll be over a matter of time. Right. It, who hurts who first? Good question. But it would be Canelo would hurt Mayweather first. Hmm, that's a good, um, good idea. Since we're talking about the opponent's uh, previous fights, compare Canelo Trout, you know, his uh, win from that fight and May- Mayweather's um, fight with Guerrero. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, the quick comparison. Um, <clears throat> well, Mayweather's fight with Guerrero, very good uh, boxing by Mayweather. I like the way he looked, actually. Although it was against a smaller Guerrero and a slower Guerrero, he still looked like he retained a little bit of his old self in the ring. You know, he had his reflexes, he had his speed, um, nice shots, good defense. The only thing was, was his opponent, Guerrero. He didn't really look like he came to win. You know what I mean? The difference between the Trout and Canelo fight. I thought the Trout and Canelo fight very very competitive fight very close i felt like both guys really really wanted to win and that's why it was so close i felt kind of like guerrero was just more or less just you know hey, if i win cool but i'm more happy just to be here you know what i mean i'm more happy just to be at this level in my career and just i'm just happy to make it you know and and when you think like that you get content to lose you know what I mean? You don't, he didn't just look like he, he didn't try as hard as I've seen him try. Like against Berto, he was balls to the wall and, you know, he obliterated Berto. So it's just like, he just had a different vibe, you know, against Mayweather. You could say it was Mayweather speed or defense or, you know, maybe it was just too big of a show for Guerrero. Maybe mm-hmm. the stage was too big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. You know what? That is. The segment, we are talking about the big, big, big event, September 14th, Money Mayweather versus Saul Canelo Alvarez. It's going to be something to watch, definitely. Can't miss it. Everybody, this is going to be the fight of the year, I believe. Um, We're signing off. This is uh, JR the Finest and... Mr. Pound for Pound, you already know, is going down. The fight's going to be big. You guys make your predictions. Leave your comments on my videos. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I want to read it. Because I love what you guys have to say. It cracks me up sometimes. I'll be laughing when I read your comments. So uh, give me some good stuff. Tell me who you pick. And uh, we'll talk later. Mr. Pound for Pound. Peace. I'm in the building still, but I'm out.